I stopped saying, can I do this? So I, I stopped saying, can I get out of this hole? And I, cha- I added one word, the word how. So instead of saying, can I get out of this rut? I said, how can I get out of this rut? And I think the, the, the flame that really worked for me specifically yeah, sure. was <clears throat> my goal became, I want to be grateful that this is happening. You know, for example, when the business dealings went bad and, you know, I was in, uh, you know, $80,000 debt and I had no idea how to earn any money as an artist, you know, I, I had visions of, okay, well, uh, if I have $80,000 positive in my bank account, that'll make me glad that I went through this. You know, tough times make tough people. And working backwards, you know, now if anybody's an athlete, that's exactly what you do. If you, you want to learn how to take a jump shot, you work backwards. You start with the footwork, you start with the ball handling. You do a whole bunch of stuff before you take the shot. Yes. And then you take the shot, the exact same shot a million times. So I think for me, again, it was very pragmatic where it's like, okay, how do I get out of this? Okay, all right, I need to make money. I don't know how to make money. Um, and then having this memory of meeting this, this real estate mogul and him saying, the way I got rich wasn't by making a lot of money, it was by not spending a lot of money. And looking around my, my apartment and being like, okay, wait, I gotta get rid of all this stuff. So I sold everything on Craigslist. <laughs> then I sold the place. Then I moved back with my mom and dad, knowing that I could have been doing that six months earlier, but the only thing that was preventing me from doing that was the fear of embarrassment. Mm. Then becoming rec- recognizing that I was afraid of being embarrassed. I had, and being open when people were like, hey, what's going on? Oh, I just saw you do this great gig out here in India. Oh, you must be living the life. And being like, no, I'm not, I'm broke. You know, I'm figuring it out, yeah. but things aren't as fantastic as you may think. A lot of the other fears I had, I remember I borrowed money from a lot of people that required mm-hmm. me to call them and say, listen, I owe you money. I don't have your money. I'm going to figure it out. I'm not going to avoid you, but you're also not going to see me buying expensive stuff right now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to figure this all out. Mm-hmm. And again, it took me four years to get my bank account to zero. And then also having a self-awareness of, Every single day I told myself, when you get that zero bank account, you're going to feel like a million bucks. You're going to stand on top of a mountain. You're going to cheer and you're going to feel like, you know, my, my pursuit of happiness moment. That, yeah. that lasts a month. Yeah. And then, you know, it lasts a month and you got some other problem. And then you're like, okay, I can't, there is no happily ever after. Yeah. You know, my yeah. movie doesn't end. There's yeah. the next day after that. But then also realizing, that, hey, if I figured out how to go from negative 80 grand to zero, I can keep going. You know, and that the, the biggest gift that that gave me was teaching me the value of minimalism mm. because I didn't have much. I was like, whoa, I didn't need any of the stuff that I used to have that I lost. I don't miss any of the stuff that I lost. And I think that gave me that perspective of, hey, you can keep climbing this mountain. There is no peak. Totally. So just have fun. You know, there's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. The rainbow is the reward. So have as much fun as you can. Yes. Stop taking things so seriously. Our time is limited here, so enjoy it while we're here.